Hi, I'm Mikhu, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, lighting effect similar to the one you see in my background. First of all, uh, I'd like to apologize for the camera quality because the one I usually use is not working in Blender for some reason; it's causing problems. So, I'm using this. I'm using Hypercam, which is obvious by the watermark you can see in the corner. <laughs> um, so we can open up Blender here, and we'll get rid of the default cube because it is unnecessary and it's unwanted. So hit space, go to Add Meshes, and then UV Sphere. Just keep all the default settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so I have to go to Set Smooth, and then we can go to Add New Material, and go to Texture, Add New, and then for this we're going to be using Marble. Alright, so here you need to hit Sharp, and then la uh, Hard Noise, and then uh, down here you can change it from Singular. Uh, I like to use Try though. In the end, I, you basically get the same result. But I've always used it. So here you can adjust the settings. It doesn't really matter what you go with. I like to go with a uh, larger uh, noise. Uh, I just like you know, it, uh, whenever I use it, I make it larger. <laughs> and uh, not when you know I ever use it. It doesn't matter. Anyway, and you can adjust those settings. And uh, basically, you're gonna get the same result. All right. So here we have the default purple and the white stripe. Um, the uh, we can go to map two and change purple. Now it kind of switches uh, when you change the map two. It actually changes the sphere instead of the lightning. So I'm gonna use a black sphere, and then we have white lightning, which looks all right. I'll render it here for you. All right, it's not very close. So uh, when changing your lightning, you're going to use the settings that you would use for usually just the sphere. And it, I like to go with a cyan or sea foam, sea foam <laughs> uh, blue of lightning. I think it looks more electric. You need to adjust the settings there. Maybe go a little bit darker. You know, whatever. It all looks great. I think. You know. So okay, I'm gonna adjust the size here so there's less background, and uh, go into camera by pushing zero on your uh, your numpad to the right. All right. So um, I'm going into world settings and I change my background world to black because uh, I I like the way that the black sphere kind of uh, melts into it and creates a shattered effect which looks pretty cool I think and uh, we'll render it here now with the black background and uh, the lack of lighting it's very hard to see it so uh, go to the lamp here and uh, I'm going to make it a little bit brighter here and change the energy settings and energy will make it brighter and uh, then I'm going to go into the shaded tab or uh, draw type tab and hit shaded because that way it gives me kind of a preview before I render and save myself a little bit of time on how the light's going to hit the sphere and uh, you can kind of see it there. Um, you have to watch out for that sunspot, as I like to call it, right in the middle there. Uh, it, it creates, it, it, it's, you know, it, w when you're using when you're using lightning effect, it looks all right because it kind of seems like it's sprouting from it. But uh, if anybody knows how to ensure that, you know, try to get rid of that uh, spot of light, you know, that is directed, be cool. So uh, I'll render it here, and even with the uh, large spots of light, it kind of melts in well and looks pretty well, uh, pretty good. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically the uh, lightning effect, and uh, I think it looks all right. So, thanks for watching my tutorial, and I hope to have uh, some new ones, hopefully better ones, for you in the future. <laughs>